Hello and welcome. I'm just going to do a quick overview of the Star Citizen store, what you need to do to get in and uh, answer a few common questions. So if this is your first time looking into the game, you're going to want to go to robertsspaceindustries.com, which you can see here. Don't worry about these three tabs for now, you're just going to close this out, close this up here. Now you've got the main page. Uh, currently there is a Luminalia discount going on. That's kind of like their in-game representation of Christmas, um, but still remaining neutral to a degree. Uh, anyway, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on, on the Luminalia thing here. And you're going to scroll down. You can read through this if you'd like. It's just talking about the different events. Uh, once you have an account, they do have 12 little in-game gifts you can get each day. And if you miss out on, you know, a few days, you can get all of them at the uh, for a few days after it concludes too. So keep scrolling. Here's where you can see what they are. And here are the discounted holiday starter packs. Now bear in mind, the uh, and any ships you, you want to get on the website, you can actually get in-game. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to buy the biggest, you know, baddest thing you can find. You can get that in-game. And it's really not too difficult to save up money in-game to purchase these either. That said, the game is currently in alpha, so if there is a wipe, you're going to lose anything you bought in-game, potentially. Uh, they've been trying to lessen the frequency and severity of the wipes, but they do still happen. Uh, anything bought with real money you're gonna, is, of course, going to persist through the wipes, if there are any. Now, if you want to spend the bare minimum, you, your options are the Aurora Marquee on the left over here, and the Mustang Alpha in the middle. Uh, if you do want to upgrade from one of these ships to something in the future, I believe the Mustang Alpha is worth slightly more, I think like $5, so that'll be 5 bucks off your future upgrade. Otherwise, they're both pretty good ships. Um, and they've got the little Drake Cutter over here, the 100i, and the Avenger Titan, the Nomad. Uh, and that's what they've got there. And I'll, I'll give you a quick explanation of these options here. So the Aurora um, is going to be the slowest of the starter ships, although I'm not sure how it compares to the newer Cutter in terms of speed. Uh, it generally has a little more armor, it's a little less agile. It does have, or it can at least equip missiles. The Mustang Alpha, a little more nimble. Um, a little more agile, less armor. Uh, it's going to perform a little better in atmosphere as well. And then it doesn't have the ability or option to equip missiles, but it does have uh, two gimbaled guns, which do make tracking your target a little bit easier. All in all, each of these two ships can equip up to four weapons, either ballistic or laser, um, or sorry, energy. Uh, or distortion. That's a uh, that's another damage type, but you know we'll worry about that later. Now the musk, the Aurora does have a bed, and the neat thing about the bed is if you log out in space somewhere in the bed, when you log back into the game, you're gonna be exactly where you were. Whereas if you log out without a bed, you're gonna you know when you come back into the game the next time you're gonna be in the nearest port or city. Um, the Aurora can carry some cargo as well. The Mustang Alpha has a little cargo space also. And there are variations of these ships for different purposes too that you can upgrade to also. Like there is a there's a Mustang Beta that you can upgrade to that sacrifices its cargo for a little uh, internal cabin with a bunk bed and a kitchenette and things like that. Uh, pretty neat. Now the Drake Cutter over here. This one has a decent little interior. It's got a bed, uh, a latrine and shower. Um, and then I think it can actually carry a tiny bit of cargo also. Um, I'm not sure how this one compares as far as agility and armor go, um, but generally you can get a feel for that stuff by looking at them. I mean, it's especially between the Aurora and the, and the Mustang. 
the 100 eye holiday uh, pack over here so this ship is going to be sit in between the Mustang and the Aurora in terms of agility and defenses and whatnot uh, this is more of your luxury if you will uh, company that's made by origin so they you know they try to go for the aesthetics and the and the style and lighting and whatnot uh, Drake is bare bones like you know no frills or anything like that just what you need RSI which makes Aurora they're kind of uh, they're kind of middle ground think of uh, think of like uh, in, in terms of today you know this is gonna be like your Ford this is gonna be your Tesla the Mustang there Drake cutter is gonna be uh, well, let's say Drake is like I said bare minimum you know no frills but it'll, it'll get the job done this is going to be closer to Mercedes or BMW or something like that for the 100i and then the Avenger Titan it's technically not a starter ship uh, it's, it's a pretty solid choice though as well it's uh, it's just a little bit bigger than the rest of these not by much um, it's got a little tiny uh, little tiny bed and I think a locker in the middle there little little room for cargo in the back um, but it's it's a pretty good ship as well uh, but don't get me wrong you can't go wrong with any of these uh, even though there a lot of these are listed as starter ships you're gonna be able to do very well with these um, a lot of people have you know a lot of people have cleared out pirate swarm or you know vanduul swarm and arena commander with the Aurora over here no problem it just comes down to how how you fly it how you know familiar you are with the ship and its capabilities and then last but not least over here is the Nomad this is also made by Consolidated Outland which is you know you know kind of equivalent to today's Tesla um, this is a, a pretty good little all-rounder for starting um, this one actually has a little tiny interior as well you've got a bed a little kitchenette uh, it's got a little room for cargo but the one thing that really sets this one apart from the rest is this one actually has enough space to carry a small vehicle um, that said the Avenger Titan does as well but the Avenger isn't technically a starter ship like the rest of these uh, but this one can carry a small vehicle um, surprisingly there is another starter ship missing and that's that they t that they sometimes have and that's the Reliant core that's a little two-seater but maybe you can upgrade to that if you if you'd like to in the future so there are the ships available as you can see they are discounted for the you know for the holidays here um, if you do choose one of these we'll just uh, you know we're just gonna hit add to cart and then we'll go check the card out in a second but before that we're going to hit more info and it's going to tell you what the pledge includes um, and you've got the name of the ship right here kind of a neat little screenshot and then if you buy this package it's going to have the 24 month insurance which is I believe tw twice that of the normal insurance length when you buy a package um, so if you buy this package for you know 24 real world months you're not going to have to worry about buying in-game insurance for this particular ship um, little you know little something little bonus there uh, you start out with 20,000 UEC which I'm not sure if that's standard now previously it was it was uh, 10 I believe so that could just be for the holidays or it could be standard of course the Star Citizen game itself and then in-game is the Selfland hangar and as far as that goes there are different companies that make the hangers for your ships in game and the Selfland is the most basic if you will personally I prefer it myself um, but there are a number of other options to choose from in the future but that's the one that this package comes with one thing to note this package and these packages here actually do not include the squadron 42 game so if you are interested in both games I would recommend buying a combination package instead of one of these or potentially or potentially upgrading to a combination package from one of these uh, but we're just gonna focus on these for now uh, so anyway you've got the package in the cart 
and you can go ahead and hit cart there. It's going to ask you to sign in. If you don't have an account already, you hit enlist now. Um, you just fill out your information here and the account name that is going to be the uh, well you know it speaks for itself the account name that's what everybody's going to see for your account now you will be able to name your character something different and you'll be able to change that you know on a whim if you so choose but the account name that's that's going to be what it is so make sure it's you know what you want uh, fill out the rest of your info make sure to come down here to referral code and hit the add code button and then you're gonna just fill out the code I would appreciate it if you use the code in the upper right hand corner over here um, now if you've got a friend that has their code go ahead and you know go ahead and use their code as well but um, at any rate regardless of whose code you use it's gonna net you an additional 5,000 uh, in-game currency which is referred to as UEC um, and then right now they also have a special event going on a special referral event maybe I can show you that because I can't really go any farther here without creating an account or logging in but the rest of that is pretty straightforward so we're gonna go over here we're gonna look at the referral bonus real quick so if you use the a referral code when making an account and purchasing the game you have to spend at least forty dollars for the referral bonus then whoever's code you use gets the set of armor and the weapon on the left there that you see and then you're gonna get the set on the right so they're gonna get the red you're gonna get the green and if you want to you can actually trade in game if you each prefer the other color um, and if you want to you can scroll down through here and see a little bit more about you know what you get here it's actually and it's actually a pretty good little little set to get going. Um, doesn't look too bad either. And then you know some additional information there. So there you go. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the video or you know send me a message. I'm more than happy to talk about the game and help out uh, new players and whatnot. Um, and if you if you need any additional help after that in the game they have a community guide system where you basically specify what you're looking for help with and then you can choose from a list of players that are available that are willing to you know help you in said field um, and if you don't want to do that or you forget about it the community is generally very friendly and helpful you know you just uh, start talking in game and you're bound to find someone that's you know willing to take the time to help you out anyway thank you for watching and uh, please you know share this video if you've got anyone else that might be interested and hope to see you in the verse